see you think it'll work here let's try it Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 43 Cycles. In today's episode, we set out to do a lot of things. Uh, we started with the idea of extending the idea of a nomograph or nomogram to composing and what might that look like. And a nomogram is a diagram that represents the relations between variables. And you've seen that. If you've ever seen a weather map, there, uh, there, those isobar lines are, are related to that. So we went ahead and started a new poster, a placard. And you remember in one of our earlier streams, we came up with doing this one, hybrid tech, using multiple kinds of tools together. Then we did not show it, but we repackaged a lot of the material from here and created this version. And this one is up to be presented in a week or two. And then we've already got another thing lining up where we want to add this whole idea of the nomogram, nomograph. And the idea of that is, the idea of that is, it's probably going to be easier to look at it this way. Uh, a nomogram represents relationships between variables and isopleth is a line on a map and it's basically how you calculate things like this is showing how to calculate adding two numbers together and for complicated equations this turns into an easier way to do it it's quick and dirty and within needed precision so the idea is if we have all 150 ways to do uh, electronic collaboration online uh, how do you pick one and this is the kind of decision flow chart you have to go through to get there. Is there a way to represent these two things in some kind of simplified nomogram version? That's kind of the idea behind this uh, slide in progress. So we got that done. Uh, the next thing it, we worked on was working on our uh, videos that demonstrate if you hear a sound, does it change how you read a word? And we did that over here, and we cut apart the pieces, and here we go. This is going to be the same line, line four, with two different musical themes. So read the line and listen and see if this, these words, you read them and interpret them the same way. So we would say one feels maybe more ominous or ambiguous, one feels more ambiguous promising. So, and that's the same words, just different uh, melody line going underneath it. So we got that done. The next thing we wanted to do was work on the standalone hymn, as we call it, and record a new flying animation. And we did that. Um, this is what it looks like now. We're actually playing all three lines there's a backbone and a lyric and an arpeggio and we also learned how to make it so that this uh, the text line for the lyric stands out clearly so we'll play this for a little bit So the big improvement here was we got the white space between the top of the ar arpeggios and the bottom of the lyric. And it was something called style. And we'll probably run into that again and have to try to remember how to do that. So... A quick... Oh well. We're supposed to be doing things. The final thing we did was <clears throat> reviewed our themes and 
arpeggios in C3443R and we were making this animation using the star field and we added a intro section and we added a fade in and fade out to black and this is what the ending uh, or the beginning comes in at. Intro, fade to black, bang. So, a lot of work done. Uh, ideas for next time are to post and share some of those videos. Uh, we have an idea for to tweak this one a little bit more at the end. And the main thing is to continue ideas. Uh, we feel like we're getting ready to move to a new series here. Um, not quite, don't fear. Uh, and the series would be kind of oriented around the nomogram or that, that new theme and meme. Uh, however, we have a few rows to hoe before we get there, including what we're thinking of combining some of the compositions into an overall suite that would look something like that. So thank you for your time and attention, curiosity and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Do come back and as always, keep on streaming.